Good afternoon and welcome to an episode of Get to Know Your Neighbor at Delray Beach. My name is Dietra Croak. I'm with Compass Florida. I'm here with Dr. Susan Schiff. Dr. Schiff is the owner and practitioner of Acupuncture Associates here in Delray Beach. She's been serving our community for 20 years and she serves a myriad of patients and their unique needs through acupuncture, holistic medicine, and whole health. Dr. Schiff, thank you for joining me today and sharing some insight about your business. Thank you for having me. <laughs> thank you. So first question we have for you is if you could just tell us a little bit about your business and how you got started. Okay. Um, so I've actually been practicing Chinese medicine, which is an umbrella for acupuncture, Chinese herbs, whole food nutrition for 24 years. And I've been in downtown Delray for that long. So um, I have seen this town go through major transitions and developments. Um, some people think not so great, but you know, it's evolution. Things are moving and growing and changing. So I've been on Southeast 4th Avenue for over 24 years. Um, what got me into Chinese medicine was my own health. I had health issues that were not being um, satisfied, taken care of, healed, cured, resolved with Western medicine. And I was actually pretty desperate and um, tried everything and anything. And one of those anything things I tried was Chinese medicine and it was brilliant for me. Awesome. So that's, um, that's how I first got started. And my issues were um, gynecological related. And so funny enough, the, the mass majority of patients that I see in my practice are GYN related, reproductive wellness, fertility, pregnancy, postpartum, mm -hmm. and menopausal presentations because Western medicine tends to really fail um, with chronic conditions and Chinese medicine has been amazing at resolving um, unrelenting GYN conditions. That's awesome. And to add to that point, do you have a favorite success story that you could share without sharing names specifically or oh my one God. case of that, that kind of jogs your memory? I mean, honestly, every single woman who comes in here who's having difficulty conceiving, um, every child that's come through this practice is, is a significant and memorable experience. Um, I do have one that I love because it's so crazy. Um, I had a patient who, you know, a lot of people don't know that they have um, structural abnormalities until they try to conceive and then they do further investigation. And I had a patient who had um, one ovary with no fallopian tube attached to that ovary. And then she had a fallopian tube without an ovary. And her doctor said, there's absolutely no way you're going to get pregnant. And if you, you know, just Google physiology and the structure, you'll see that it is kind of crazy that, you know, someone would conceive in this situation. Anyway, she went to an IVF doctor. He said, there's no way you're going to get pregnant. She came to see me about three months prior to her IVF to get as healthy as possible to have a successful IVF. And sure enough, when they ran her labs prior to her IVF cycle, she was pregnant and went on to have a very healthy pregnancy. That's amazing. Yeah. And well, what's even more amazing is that three years later, she decided that she wanted to have a second child and she came back in and she was like, do exactly what you did last time. <laughs> and sure enough, she was capable of doing it on her own. I mean, we did help, you know, all we do is help the body say yes. So she conceived a second child, saved herself, probably close to $50,000 in reproductive endocrinology costs and had a second healthy little boy. So that's always a favorite for me. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Well, thank you for sharing that. Um, as a business owner, what would you say your favorite thing is and the most difficult or challenging part of being a business owner? Um, that's a broad question. Well, yeah, <laughs> you know, in my particular business, I love it because I do run the business. I do market the business. I do interact with the patients. I love being in the rooms with the patients. Um, you know, I oversee every aspect of the business. So hiring people and training people. And um, so I like the diversity of that. But at sometimes it's like I never stop thinking about the business. So that's the thing. Um, 
that sometimes I don't love when I just want to disconnect and I can't because this is my baby. This is really like my baby. You are the, the person for all aspects of absolutely operation, running, treating, all, all facets of the business kind of comes back to you. Yeah. yeah. But at the same time, I love being in the rooms with patients. Mm -hmm. I love my medicine. I know the medicine and what we do changes people's lives. And that to me is, you know, Keeps you doing it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Keeps you going. Um, what is something, if you could identify something that a pers other persons may not know about acupuncture? Just something, you know, if they had never done it before or explored it, something that would kind of synopsize or simplify it for them. I think that, um, you know, people are shocked. Like when they, when I tell them that I practice Chinese medicine, they don't really understand that. And Chinese medicine is an umbrella for, you know, a handful of, modalities like acupuncture, like Chinese herbs, like whole food nutrition, like lifestyle, those are all under the umbrella of Chinese medicine. So I'm just not an acupuncturist. Um, so when I tell um, people about what I do and that my area of expertise in training and clinical experience is reproductive wellness, they're like, acupuncture can help people get pregnant. Like, yeah they don't understand the correlation so they that's really do neat. not they yeah. think it's you know good for pain and they think it's good for smoke cessation which you know i find that it's way more effective for uh reproductive issues than those two presentations but that's my area of expertise so i think there is a very limited or there was a very limited understanding of acupuncture and the value of chinese medicine especially when i started i sure. mean 24 years ago you know, it was hoodoo voodoo. Today, it's it's pretty mainstream. Um, and there's more has had become more clinical studies also Absolutely. With involving that type of Chinese medicine into Western practice. There's a tremendous amount of research out now. I mean, my biggest and uh, most reliable source of referral are other medical doctors. Mm -hmm. So if yeah. the MDs are getting it, you know, the masses are getting it. Absolutely. Thank you. So a um, couple more questions. What prompted you to start or open in Delray Beach? I know you said you've been here since your inception 24 years ago. Like. Yeah. You know, my my first practice actually was in plantation, and I was in a partnership with a, a friend of mine who we went to school together. And I thought Delray was not ready for, you know, couldn't support a viable practice because it seemed a little too much like a vacation town. This is 24 years ago. Sure. And then I decided, yeah, you know, this is where I live, this is my home, this is where I'm setting my roots. And so I opened up part-time here as a satellite and then it became two half days and it became two full days. And it, then I released Plantation and came here full-time. And, you know, I wanted to work where I lived. This was my community. Sure, so absolutely. I, That's the best part and you've seen so much growth yeah, here. I, I mean, mean, first of all, I, I've been on 4th Avenue Fourth Avenue was nothing. There used to be an appliance store next door to me. There was a fish market across the street. This building itself was like a little U-shaped, you know, um, efficiency type rental apartment complex. And the Caspian wasn't there. IPIC wasn't there. None, sure. All of this has been built around me um, in the past 10 years. Yeah. So a renaissance for sure, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Um, so one last question. What do you have any favorite personal spots that you love in Delray, whether it's restaurants or local places that you and your family like to be and hang out as someone who's been part of this community for a long time? You know, I, I love Old School Square. I love what Old School Square has to offer as far as entertainment, the outdoor concerts, the Friday night concerts. Um, their comedy series. I'm a huge comedy fan, so I love the comedy series there. As far as restaurants, I mean, I love the stand, the, I love J and J seafood. I like good food. Yes. So I'm not really into trendy. Um, the standbys, the ones that have been here nearly yeah, like, as long as you have, right? right. <laughs> uh, Luna Rosa, Tremonte, um, and J and J seafood. I love them. Um, I do like a good salad at Vic and Angelo's, though. Um, and I love the beach. Yes. You know, I really love the beach. My son is, you know, grown up here. He's grown up surfing, skimboarding. He's an amazing swimmer. 
Um, so I think you know the playground of just the beach itself is a great place to it's an raise amazing, a kid. It's an amazing place to be and to live. Plus, you know, having raising a kid here, it's really incredible because there's so many different school options and school situations, and then you have the basketball leagues, and then you have the t-ball and soccer leagues, and so kids are going to private school, public school, but all the kids know each other through the different sports. Plus, my kid's a big skateboarder, so he meets kids through skating, and I can say that my kid knows more people in this town and more families because of his relationships and different activities than I do over 24 years. So I think it's really been a wonderful place to raise a kid. It is, and just the options to engage with your community in so many different unique ways is really cool about Delray. Absolutely. Yes. Well, thank you so much for your time, for answering our questions. Thank you for watching. Please check out this interview and other community local news on my page. It's at www.parkbench.com backslash Osceola-Park, that's parkbench.com, backslash Osceola, O-S-C-E-O-L-A-Park. And check me out on that page, connect with me, let me know if you or another business would like to be my next interview. I look forward to hearing from you and thank you for watching.